Hello Libra, welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their true intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Libra 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Let's jump right in for Libra. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Libra. Regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts or feelings towards Libra? Spirits, angels. What are they thinking, feeling about Libra at this time? Let's see what we get. Wow, the sun, first card out. Knight of, no, King of Cups. And the Page of Cups reverse. Okay, so I feel like this person, uh, you make them very happy, or there's a lot of like happy emotions tied to you, your connection. Um, could be a water sign that you're dealing with, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but with the Page of Cups reverse, someone is disappointed, heartbroken. I don't know if they disappointed you, um, Libra, or if they're heartbroken because of the state of your connection at this time. What's at the bottom of the deck? Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, satisfaction. What do we need to know? about the energies of this person that Libra is dealing with, thinking about at this time. We have enthusiastic, excited, and eager, abundance, blessings, and prosperity, and fearless, motivated, and bold. So motivated and bold and enthusiastic um, here with abundance. I feel like this person has a goal in mind. Uh, when they think about you, they probably are thinking of some sort of wish or desire that they want something that is abundant something that is better than it is right now because i feel like this person the reason that the nine of cups is here is because they don't have it so that's all they think about or that's what they're thinking about right now um fearless and enthusiastic is also kind of making me think that this person might take some sort of action we'll see that in a little bit in a little bit a little bit later in the reading <laughs> i was like wait how, how am i how does that even work all right, so let's kind of clarify these energies. Queen of Cups. My goodness, yes. This person cares about you, Libra. There's emotions here, thoughts um, that they have with you. That, you know, like maybe you're very kind and compassionate or they think of you as a kind and compassionate uh, partner. Why is the sun here? I also find it very fascinating that in this deck, the sun it has a tear. Almost like the sun is sad. <laughs> Why is the sun here? What can you tell me about the sun? Five of Wands and the Emperor, Aries energy. Oh yeah, this person definitely wants to do something. I think they've lost the light in their life or they've lost the person that made them happy or they screwed things up with this person and now it's time to fix it. Um, tell me about the King of Cups. The sun could also be, especially with the Five of Wands, it could also be that something came to light that caused problems. Why is the King of Cups here? Ace of Wands. Why is the King of Cups here? What can you tell me about this King of Cups? There's the King of Cups here. King of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like they want to communicate openly. And maybe they're hoping for a new beginning based off of this communication. Uh, Ace of Wands with the King of Swords. So why the Page of Cups reverse? Why is the Page of Cups reverse? Eight of Wands. Why is the Page of Cups reverse? Why is the Page of Cups reverse? Six of Wands. <sighs> Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very clear energy. I think this person is hoping for, maybe they have an apology to bring to you or they have some sort of feelings they want to express to you. But I think it's because they are wanting to have what they've lost back or, or fix this problem. This is their wish, this is their desire, this is what they would like. Let's do some, get some more energies here. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Libra. What do we need to know, Spirit? 
what do we need to know about this person's energies towards Libra? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Libra? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. I'm ready to commit. I made a mistake. I have a choice to make. Okay, so I feel like this person, maybe they weren't able to commit to you in the past and that caused problems in your connection, but they're motivated. They want to get something done, um, but I don't know why they're afraid to tell you how they feel. Maybe that's why the King of Swords is here with the Eight of Wands. Communication is probably very important. The Knight of Cups. What is this person's true intentions or actions going to be towards Libra? Let me move these up. What are this person's intentions, actions towards Libra going to be, Spirit? Six of Pentacles reverse, intentions, next actions. Seven of Wands reverse. The Fool reverse. Eight of Swords reverse. So I think that their fear is a problem. I think they're hesitating. They're not willing to take a risk here with the fool, or perhaps they might make a mistake. Um, Six of Pentacles reverse. For some reason, I think this person has a lot of feelings, but the, not enough action. Um, maybe, and, and that's strange because they're showing up as an emperor and a king of cups. So we're talking about someone that could express themselves if they wanted to or could take charge of the situation if they wanted to. So let's see, why is this showing up like this? Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Five of Swords. There's a problem here, a conflict that's preventing this from being fixed or preventing your person from taking the necessary steps. Why is the Six of Pentacles reverse? Three of Wands. Yeah, there's a delay. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I really hope that this person is not already in a commitment. I don't know if family is a problem, stability is a problem, a job or career is a problem. But it's there's delays here for sure. Tell me about the, uh, the well, in this card is the hero, the full reverse. Why is the full reverse? Again, I'm getting like energies of like hesitation. Okay, the Nine of Swords. Fear, anxiety, stress. Tell me about the full reverse. Judgment and the Three of Pentacles. I think that there's someone else because the Nine of Pentacles is here. There could be someone else. And if it's not someone else, it's them feeling confident or secure enough, this Nine of Pentacles, to overcome this fear. Some of you are dealing with someone that just is afraid to open up or afraid to speak up, afraid to express themselves, afraid to apologize. And obviously, if they're afraid to do that, then nothing will get done. With the judgment and the three of pentacles, I think of someone wanting to work together, collaborate, have a second chance, um, realizing where the mistakes were made, realizing what they, you know, what what things could be like if only they turn things around or whatnot because after judgment is the world so after judgment you learn something important enough that you're able to close the cycle and start a new one so i feel like this person for some reason there is a situation it's almost like the conflict is still here or still exists tell me more about this situation between Libra and this other person. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this situation between Libra and this other person. Message of concern. Yeah, this person, I feel they're worried about how their message will be received. Um, maybe they're worried about how the message will be interpreted, you know, like if they do say something, will it be the wrong thing? Will you not understand? Or will there be more fights here? Eight 
Is there someone else to worry about? Whatever this is, it's really affecting things. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it could be that this is a timing issue. Um, it could be that there's something from the past that still is unresolved as well. Um, let's see, what else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Libra? What do we need to know spirit for February 2022? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Libra? I think they're afraid to tell you how they feel about something. We are soulmates. Okay, can I get one more? Can I get one more? You know, it's funny because we had fearless show up and then the fear is still here. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. I think this person wishes that they could be fearless enough to go after what they truly want. I also feel like you are probably expecting them to step up to the plate. And every time this person is like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be fearless. I'm going to be bold. I'm going to go after what I truly want. I'm going to get my wish fulfilled because Libra is my soulmate and I don't want to lose them again. Every time that they get to that point, something stops them. Fear stops them. And I think it's a fear of failure, message of concern. A fear of being rejected. A fear of being alone in the way that they feel. I, I think this person made a mistake. They lost you. And it's almost like picturing a new beginning with you is easier because a dream cannot be interrupted. If they were to come up to you and say, I want us to make this dream a reality and you told them no, well, that dream has burst. That dream is no longer a dream. You know, it's safer to dream than it is to have reality wake you up. So that's what I have for you, Libra, uh, in what they feel about you, what they think about you at this time. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button. Leave me a comment if it resonated for you. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.